that laugh. I would love to see monsters, but I strongly suspect that this guy is just gonna spam uh, removal. <laughs> you know what, what I would like to see, guys? Considering that how hard Art of the Counter's artifacts have and Vetter has, that I don't agree with. I would like to see such counters to... Okay, I would like to see such counters to damage, you know? You're gonna have like, oh, you know what? If I'm a little bit sick of, you know, damage, we can just have some effects, you know? All the enemy damage deals... Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Uh, two less damage or... Peace fire, all the damage boosts, or something like that. You know, just like some hard counters to damage. Oh, that's a little annoying. Predatory dive. Because of course you need more removal! Huh. That guy's sitting on a full hand of immunity uh, and removal, most likely. I suppose we're gonna take round one more seriously. Ah, oh, we can do a Sea Jackal. Alright, let's do that. Oh, I can hit my own Sea Jackal now. Perfect! We can have some interaction, you know? Opponent does nothing, then I punch myself in the face. Then, same thing. Could be very interactive. Uh, technically, Priest is damaged too. Well, you damage your own guy. Actually, has some synergies. So. Oh, we can kill that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. See, Jacko, get strong. Get tall. Wow, I'm, I'm really surprised. Look at this guy. He has no damage. This guy's a noob, obviously. Not only he's not playing Skellige, but he's actually played a card that does not have damage. Hard counters to damage, aren't those called artifacts? But it needs to be a fun hard counter. Like, technically he's... The, the hard counter to damage is playing just fat points, which is not, not good. Any kind of strategy that forces your opponent to be super boring, because the, the counter to damage is that you play units that either cannot be damaged, or you play units that don't have abilities. So damage is not efficient, but that's actually not correct, because damage is extremely efficient. So even if you play fat points, Damage is efficient. But at that point, it's gonna be kind of like break even. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Play the ship! Ward's fun and hard counter don't go well together. I agree! I, I just think that the better. And uh, the artifacts just have so brutal hard counters, but same same time damage is ridiculously spammed. And you know, you know, I kind of I kind of get that. You know, damage is a is a, is a way to interact with the board. It's it's okay, but it's kind of overdone. Sea Jackal. So we gotta boost the Sea Jackal. Actually. High Cloak Ransackers. Oh Akimura! Maybe we just use it all up. Only thing I'm concerned here is that it is possible that he has a hard counter to it. Maybe we don't use it all up? Let's do something like that. We use up that much. And he passes. Perfect. All according to plan. 
Your skill in Gwent is measured by how many damage cards you play. Exactly. This guy's a noob because he didn't have... Well, he used one card that actually not damage. I have no idea what he's doing. Actually, that's one mistake that I did when uh, the Syndicate got nerfed, is that I tried to go for a passive style. You know, I just, you know, I'm just kind of doing some value with some control. And it was pathetic. It was completely trash. We were losing so hard. And I had to go for the style that has more control in it. Okay, now we gotta think about this, because there are some moving pieces here. So, which hunter with Graydon? Backhoe Grandsacker is... Yeah, we, we need to put back a blacksmith, I think. Um, yeah, those would be great. Okay. That's what we got. Ha! Huh. You want a summoning circle? Do we summoning circle round one? Or do we summoning circle round two? I can play a summoning circle. And actually, this is pretty interesting. What's the chance? So the advantage of doing summoning circle round one is that he has a damage card that he won't be able to use. Or we can just do tax card. Fine, let's just do summoning circle. Tax collector is probably gonna die. And he's gonna be like, oh, I got all damage. What I'm gonna target now? No, he yeah, also has immunes. Of course. How silly of me. Let's collect some tax. We plan to do the Nathaniel combo. In three turns. And I, I do love the summoning circle for that. Let's do Imka. Give me some gold! I'm a little surprised. He just played the random damage. I think this guy is more shell shocked than anything here. Because he is more afraid of getting damaged than actually doing proper damage. <sighs> well, not sure what to do here. So we want to do a coarse blacksmith. And we can mark that with, with Bounty Hunter. Which hunter can do it? And that's a decent uh, target. Although we might want a better target, but I do have to play something here. Well, if it works out, that should be plenty of gold. And that's good enough. Masiak! Oh. Okay. <gasps> no way! Oh, actually we can... Oh. Of course. So, we do Mataniel. But also get out. Of course, Blacksmith, who targets Nathaniel, and makes everybody bleed. Oh, we're getting rid of the boost. What the f- So this flatter went from having like, I don't know, 5 boost on it, or 3 boost on it, to having minus 7 bleed. Okay. Is there a way to make a lot of bucks here? Oh, uh, we can blow up Imka. We can also blow up the Wyvern, but... Eh, probably shouldn't. Oh, we can do morales. I think that's fine. We have a hard counter later. 
Eternal fire casts a long shadow. Ah! A word once given will never break. <laughs> okay. I suppose might as well play Bincy. Bit of nuke. Not sure who to nuke. Probably the four. Because Graydon's gonna get more value out of the five. But of course, this needs to die. Maybe we should blow up Imke. No, that would be too much money. Should I blow up Imke? Then we will get 5 gold. Then now uh, this would be 7 gold. Right? Okay. Oh, look at that! They're using the claws! Nate the bait broke again. Nate is okay. Oh, he has the shoop! Is it gonna be the fat shoop? Oh, it damaged everybody by free shoop, maybe? No way! He has a frost! That's so sick! I'm gonna catch a cold now. Well done, I adore the challenge. I'm not sure what you were hoping for here. I like the old shoop, but this new shoop, I'm not a huge fan of. So, what am I gonna do? Now, yeah, maybe we're gonna do Renegade Mage. And we're gonna course blacksmith last. Although, I need to spend some gold. I think at least that much. Oh no, Kitty Claws come get. Okay, well, taking some damage. So, we can play a Bounty guy, but maybe I don't care about the Bounty. If we play a Bounty guy, we're gonna get 5 gold, but no way to spend it. So, that's not the best. We can grade on the Vivas. Actually, we need to do that, because Gradient needs a target. Okay, never mind that. But I don't have enough money. I, I kind of spent more than... A little bit more than I, I should have. I also have a big cunt. Big finisher here. I think we might play the Renegade Mage. Without using the power he has. You're gonna withhold the tribute. Oh yeah, I still do one damage. Um, let's do that. Let's zap the Akimara. Booty Hunter. That should be the title. Oh. That's a little annoying. I was kinda hoping that he's gonna have something big later, but... Apparently he doesn't. I time the north was How Well done indeed. Paid the tribute. Oh nice. He built the deck pretty well. He had almost only damage plus body dudes in there. But one of them was not damage plus body. Disgraceful. 
All right, Messiac, go back to the uh, square one at this point. You need to have more damage in there. GG. Action doesn't have a lot of uh, control in it. It does have a fair bit of control, but like not oppressive amount of control. You can't just like kill everything that's played. So I love the new faction, but overall, I'm a little... Well, maybe I played too much Gwen. I don't know. New faction has great music too. Yeah. You know, this is the... Like, I don't want to give the review like, Oh my god, I played Dota for 3,000 hours. The game is shit. This game is so bad. You know? You can't, you can't say that. But obviously, you're going to burn out from many games. And uh, that actually happens to me a lot. You know, when I play other games, I, I, when I even when I play single player games, I play like five hours and like, oh, I lose interest or like, you know. But Gwent is something I keep coming back to, which I kind of... I think uh, that kind of matters. Uh, I think we got to boost this guy. I would like to see more... More complex strategies. I do like this coin mechanic. And, uh... Yeah, just... Just go away from this damage plus body thing. Because I don't think this is particularly fun. I do... I do like it in small, small packages. But, you know, when you have a dude that costs four. And deals four damage with a two body. Like, what value generator can I really play? Like, I can play a value generator... That's a 4 for a 5. And this 4 kills that. So... Of course, it's a pretty simplified example, but... And the value generators can get a lot of value, but... I would like to see more nuance control, I suppose. Because as long as, you know, as long as we have these... We don't have design space. And this is the... Great shame, I, I I think, because they went for this damage spam, and what kind of control we can have? Like, do it like movies, for example, is a good good way of controlling, uh, but you rarely see it. Uh, you can have locks, but you can also have different kind of mechanics. For example, you can have a unit that locks a unit on the board as long as it's active on the board. You see this in other card games. So, for example, I can play a lock, and I lock Olaf. But as long as my unit is actually on the board, so I can just like, oh, I lock it, and I can't be shut down now, I just shut you down, and that's it. Like, I think that's where the, the, the strategy kind of stops, so I think that's a little boring when it, when it goes like that. I just wanted to keep going. Also, I would like the boards to grow, you know, they, they want to go with the style that, you know, uh, they're gonna have like a battlefield of units and you know more moving pieces amazing and you got to think about more stuff But it's rarely the case. Usually it's just uh, uh, Usually it's just uh, God damn it, we're gonna be in trouble here Usually it's just like stuff getting shut down uh, when they get played so, I have a lot of gold. Maybe I'll... Well, I can play a Sea Jackal. We're gonna go to 9 gold right now. I can mark the Olaf. Alright, let's do Mark Olaf. I don't love this, but let's do it. Yeah, I feel you, Syndicate. After Syndicate, I lost it a bit and went into MTGA. I tried MTGA. I, I actually tried to play a bit of MTGA and just try to give it a sh another shot. But I don't know. That That's not a game for me. I think that's just too expensive. And for that reason alone, I, I can never recommend it. That's purely the reason I can never recommend it. One man's battlefield is another man's right patch for harvest. 
we go up to eight. I don't think MTJ is actually bad, but it's just so damn pricey that I just cannot recommend it for that reason. The church welcomes all. All are free to convert. Only if I had the tactical disadvantage of going second now. I'll just pass. We're in a decent spot. He's gonna pass as well. Money? I'm not sure, like, we don't really see other card games now. If anything, the the auto chess games kind of blew up. And I kind of love them. I really love them. I, at least Dota Underlords. I love it. And apparently it's gonna have like 15 new heroes or something like that. And I'm really looking forward to that. He's thinking about using Geralt. He is. All right, you're on. Oh, look at that! What well, he has? The best value generator in the game with tempo, damaged body, damaged body. He yeah, stole my guy. Oh, oh my God! He's actually keep playing, keeping to play. Okay, so he's behind by thirteen. I think I'm just gonna pass here because if he play a card. And he shuts down my big dude. We actually can't lose a card. So he would need to play Geralt here. Or nothing else, right? Oh, Oof Hedin takes it. Well done. MTG is kind of kind of a luxury, but in MTJ you can do you can do well you can do well as a free to play and I'm having fun with all the depth. It has good parts, but I think it's just too pricey. I don't need to have the witch hunter. What now, Seb? Eternal is also uh, good. Too much beer? Yeah. When people hear me talk uh, in the videos, and I'm just reading out the chat, and like they're thinking, "God damn it, this Adam, they can't even speak." No, dwarves do not qualify for childcare tax relief. It's okay. I don't really want to do a drinking stream myself. I don't know. I've never done that, but it's probably a good idea. Do not do it. Uh, we might need to do a Beansy here. If I can do Beansy, blow it up, go up to 9. This world got to get ridiculous. <laughs> Ship is out! So we're now we're playing for card advantage. Okay. Well, we can do Nathaniel. Who said anything about killing? I thought birds. Third degree, but still. I would watch it and drink for you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. Can't do it. Huh? What if kids are gonna watch? I don't want to encourage uh, alcoholism, right? Maybe I can have like one beer. Maybe that would even help. 
So... Maybe not the Renegade Mage. Ooh! So, I have one Spender. Two good cards. Um, maybe not this? Well, that's... <coughs> that course Blacksmith has to spend a lot of money. Holy crap! What do I even start with? I have no way to st start this. Oh my god, we can't start with the Blacksmith. I think we gotta start with Sigian and waste 4 gold. But then we gotta play Course Blacksmith because I have way too much money. I guess I could have played the Witch Hunter. Give him no rest, no reprieve. We should have it like a drinking stream and like uh, whoever passes out earlier. But that's not good because I'm on the stream. I already fallen asleep once in the stream when I was watching a tournament. God damn it, why was I doing that? So at least no, well, I think we gotta spend all the money here. It's just too damn risky not to spend it. Freya's bulwark! That's what we are! Oh. Right. Um That's a guy that I can mark. Actually, I probably should just have a Morales. Extra gold. What am I even doing here? Yeah, I probably should have kept some gold. He's gonna play the big bear. That I would need to destroy with Morales. For which I need a lot of money. Our pyres will light up the north! High time the north was cleansed. <laughs> you beg for death! I can go up to 7 gold, actually 8 gold. If I do this, we can target something else later. But 7 gold, I can go up to 9 gold. I'm not spending the money. Steal a free. Today. It's gonna add more steel up. Uh, well, if you're keeping morales. We can add more steel at two. Let's wait. That's what we are shutting down. Alternatively, we can just steal the 9 and play this for an 8. So we have a decent Philippa. If I do the Morales play, we're gonna end up with 16 plus 7 plus 1, 24. If Philip Eilhart gets played on the 9, it's gonna be 21 plus 8. Oh, that is better. You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Oh, what? Ah. That was incredibly powerful! Let's punch the bear. No, we don't care, but let's just pass. 
Nice one, Skelliga! Woo! I would like to just not play against Skelliga, but... Well, well played! Electric Bear. Did you guys see the Pikachu movie? Who saw that? GG.